President Rivlin arranged the meeting between Gantz and Netanyahu here at the president's residence. He said they made significant strides toward a unity government. Rivlin wants to avoid a third election and said he wants a broad, stable government. Best-selling author Joel Rosenberg told Faith Nation a unity government is what Israelis are looking for. So I think what we're heading towards is what we actually need, a national unity government where uh, Benny Gantz, the former IDF chief of staff, Israeli military chief of staff, might serve for two years in that, and then Prime Minister Netanyahu serves for two years. The question is which would go first. When you have a deadlock like this, that's what people want. They're saying we're not choosing either or, you've got to serve together. Yet potential roadblocks to a unity government appeared right after the Gantz-Netanyahu meeting. Netanyahu told his bloc of conservative and religious parties he wouldn't join a government without them. While well, Gantz's blue and white party said they will keep their promise not to serve with Netanyahu. Besides his political challenges, the prime minister faces legal challenges. Next week, his lawyers will present evidence to Israel's attorney general to refute three separate corruption charges. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem.